Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to raise a question today because Team of the Season starts in just a short couple of days, but do we actually need to be saving our packs for longer than just this Friday? Will live Team of the Season cards be the promo to open for or not? I want to answer that question today and talk through some things as we get closer and closer to the start of Team of the Season and actually being able to open these packs that we have been saving. But before we do that, we have to talk about the big Evo that dropped yesterday. It's making one SBC from a couple months ago look absolutely insane. Confirmed red picks on the loading screen you just saw and the icon player pick refresh today on a Wednesday. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into things from yesterday. It was a pretty quiet day yesterday, especially on the SBC front. Guys, it's just one more day until Team of the Season can get here. Let's be completely honest. We did have the 88 plus campaign mix upgrade refreshed. They didn't change anything about it this time. It is the exact same SBC, a 1 of 4, 88 plus, exact same requirements. EA just hits the F5 on that SBC. And this SBC right now is 8% upvoted. For good reason. I'm proud of the community for not wanting to do this SBC right before team of the season. GG's. That's really all that there is in SBCs besides the daily login refresh. All the SBCs like the 83 times 10 refreshing and stuff like that. That was it in that part of the game yesterday. Now, it starts to get good when we go to evolutions though. Because this is the fullback evolution that we talked about and was leaked yesterday. But guess who doesn't fit? Erlen Mendy. Erlen Mendy went from 2k to extinct or almost 10,000 coins on the market and then is now back down to two to 3,000 coins because he did not fit the Evo. But the Evo that we got was actually pretty good, guys. This is a crazy Evo for a couple of things. First of all, yes, I know it's paid and it's 100,000 coins, but the cards that you can get out of this, I think are well worth it if you have a couple of the top tier upper echelon players, especially some of the insane left backs <clears throat> like this is Zinchenko right here. Now, let's take a look at the Evo really fast. The pace boost is good. The dribbling, defending, physical boost, and passing boost on the card is very good. It is a great boost for a left back. Also, it gives the right back position, and it gives my favorite play style in defense, anticipate, and also gives a five-star weak foot and jockey plus. This is a really, really good Evo, guys. Now, it's kind of like a really good Evo, but you kind of have to have the right player for it. I will honestly say that. I do have like a Ben Sabini Evo that's in my club. When I look at this card, though, I don't think, okay, yeah, he could play center back, but it doesn't look like a card that I'm going to use a lot. Yes, he goes to five-star weak foot. Yes, he gets the anticipate play style, which we absolutely love. But with those stats, for me, it just doesn't cut it. Now, for some of you guys who kept a couple of lucky cards around in the club, potentially from winter wild cards, there is one player that has become very popular in this evolution. If you held on to winter wild cards, Kai Havertz, his left back card here goes mental in this evolution. He stays with the whipped pass plus, but he gains the right back positioning. So he's left mid, left back, right back. And look at those stats. Those are insane stats. He gets the five-star weak foot boost as well. So he can play on either side for sure. The only downside is the work rates, guys. You look at the play styles. He has six different play styles with anticipate being very important, incisive pass, and then of course has jockey and whipped pass plus. A lot of players that used this Havertz earlier on in December, in January, when he was still pretty good, liked his attacking capabilities because of the whipped pass plus to put in those crosses and his other passing play styles, right? Well, now he has a little bit more defending to him. 89 defending with that boost. 88 physicality with 99 jumping, 94 stamina. This is a really, really good left back. Like, this is one of the SBCs turned into an evolution that makes, I don't know, I just think that it makes cards from earlier on in the game feel so much more fun. It makes it like, wow, thanks EA. I did this card two or three months ago. I've had it in my club unused for the last month or two i held on to it because i liked the card and now i have the ability to upgrade it once again i love that about specific evos not all evos are this good in that in that way and this one is now he's the number one most popular player in this but kamavinga if you have the kamavinga fire card which unfortunately now is extinct on the market as everybody goes and tries to buy him to put into the evo he looks really cracked as well with aerial plus jockey plus and of course the left back the right back positions 93 pace high 80s everywhere else almost on the card um i mean he has nine play styles guys um and two play style pluses that's absolutely crazy 
I mean, Petite fits it. There's a couple of other good combo evos in here as well. This is an evo to honestly just kind of store away if you're not having somebody in your club right now that you want to do straight away because this could be a really good evolution to chain in the future, next couple of days, maybe the next couple of weeks because it is out, I think, for 20 days. Usually when evos drop, yeah, you have to unlock it within 20 days. So might be one to keep around just in case something else drops or you're able to pack maybe one of the good informs that fit into this like Ona Batie or Basha. Basha is a very, very popular card who fits this evo as well. If you were never able to use a version of Basha and there was a lot of hype for her earlier on in the year, now you have an opportunity to do so through that evo. So I'll stop yapping about the evo because you know not everybody's invested or interested in those, but that's a very, very good evo, guys, for the price and the upgrades that you get. Now let's talk about UCL Madness for a hot second because we had two crazy games yesterday with PSG and Dortmund coming out on top. So upgrades confirmed. The first upgrades of these next few of this of this last quarterfinal round, I guess, have been confirmed. It is PSG and it is Dortmund heading on to the semifinals, and that means that Nicolas Sule and Donnarumma will be getting plus one inform upgrades. There are no playstyle pluses added yet. We are still at this point of the competition where they just qualified for the semifinals, which means plus one inform upgrade this Friday. The other games today, those players will be playing for a plus one upgrade as well. Crazy price uh, fluctuations, guys. Pedri was 1.4 million, basically max price. And now he's down, I believe, under 500k. He's 420,000 coins because Barca lost yesterday. So also what that means is we got a big upgrade on the way, guys. For Mookie LA, I did Mookie LA yesterday right before the content dropped to have some skin in the game, and I'm so glad that I did. This card's going to get a plus two because of PSG winning the game, and he's going to go to a 91 rated card. This 92 rated version that Alcio is tweeting out here is the version that will likely be able to be acquired through the Showdown Boost Evo when Mookie LA gets his plus two. You put him into that Showdown Boost Evo to get that extra plus one. That is a disgusting looking card psg french links that's a right back that a lot of people are going to use he's going to have the with the whipped pass plus as well what are his uh what is his play styles i don't even remember is it like whip pass plus and um jockey no it's rapid that's going to be an insane card so that's going to be a wild card uh he probably won't be upgraded for the next couple of days you know how ea is with the showdowns they like to take their sweet time when it's the most annoying so that's one thing to be looking out for in the next couple of days, in the coming days, right? According to EA Sports. Let's look at the loading screen. The last piece or a bit of information from yesterday kind of confirms what we already knew, that champs rewards are changing on Friday, guys. I guess we actually won't know the champs rewards and when they're changing until content on Friday because that is what the loading screen counts down to. Usually when they update stuff, we see it on Thursdays, but since champs is starting later on this Friday, that is maybe the reason why it says on the loading screen counting down until Friday. So that's kind of a roundup of yesterday of what is going on. Let's talk about the meat of the video today, guys. The pack saving. And really, the question that I want to pose as we get closer and closer to team of the season, and we're all probably getting a little bit um, impatient, ready to try to pack these team of the season cards with packs saved up. My pack stash now is up to 25 packs saved, all very high quality packs i'm not saving any player picks as i've mentioned um 85 plus 84 plus a lot of 83 10s got 86 threes back here 87 fours again we're gonna have even more um division rivals rewards in the next day tomorrow to add to that stash as well the question is when do we need to start opening our packs or do we actually need to save for a little bit longer i want to kind of dive in a little bit to what i think this tots live promo might look like just because of kind of the vibes i'm getting from the leaks guys live tots cards sound fun and it's a lot of hype and there's going to be hype for these cards that come into the game on friday but what we've kind of mentioned already i think is going to be different about these cards is they're going to be a little bit lower rated because they are live. They have the potential to grow and get upgraded based on the club's performance that they represent, right? But does that mean it will actually be worth opening your packs for? With so many players being leaked, and again, in this tweet from ASY Foot Trader, who's leaking all these cards, said there will be at least 11 more players with so many cards and packs, guys. I can already kind of see it. These cards are going to be very packable, especially the lower tier. You know, maybe some of the lower rated players like Jedi Robinson, this buyer card, 
Hink Uppy, maybe, maybe John McGinn, Loftus Cheek, Bissek, Vasquez. I don't know what all the ratings are going to be. I'm just guessing that the pack weight on the middle to lower tier is going to be super duper high. And what it's going to do and what EA is going to try to do is to get us to open all of our packs in this first weekend because it's the first version of tots cards that come out everybody right now is just ready for tots they're saving packs they're ready to see team of the season blues be in these packs right i think the play though is guys to be careful with how many packs we open straight away if the pack weight's very high for these live tots cards it's going to make everybody want to open their packs because the fun of packing team of the season cards is the pack weight that usually is higher than most other promos because you're packing really great cards during the regular leagues and the regular weeks of team of the season right i think they're going to start off with these cards being very highly packable to let us think that that's how it's going to be for the rest of team of the season but when we actually get the higher rated and boosted cards the real team of the season players in the next couple of weeks after this i think the pack weight's not going to be as good but still people are going to want to pack them and that's where ea is going to get people to open up all their safe packs for this and then once we get to prem tots la liga tots league one bundesliga Serie A, people are going to have a lot less packs because they've already opened right we see this almost every single year with the community team of the season. EA released community tots first. So many people open up their saved up packs and then they're left with not as many packs for prem tots the week after and EA makes bank on the lightning rounds, right? I think the lesson that we can learn here is maybe we wait and see really how good the pack weight is and how I'm guess hyped we are individually. It might have to be a question you have to answer for yourself when we get to Friday. When we see how packable these cards are in packs, the live TOTS cards, and we see the boosts on the cards, how high rated they are as well, then we might need to make a decision and say, okay, I'm going to open my packs now, or I'm going to open some now and save some for later. I am definitely going to be saving some for later, guys, because nothing hits different than the real team of the seasons. Some people might even start calling these live TOTS cards fraud blues or fraud TOTS cards, right? Because yes, they are team of the seasons, but if they are going to be super packable, even though they're live, kind of compared to like the fantasy promo, right? Those lower tier fantasy cards, we packed Julie P so many times. Or maybe you packed Politano so many times when he was first released, right? They were very, very packable. I feel like the live TOTS team is going to be that same way. But then the second week when the real TOTS cards come out, they're going to be higher rated, more boosted up. I think they're going to be a little bit less packable. But that's going to kind of give us a good start to team of the season and make people feel like they can pack these TOTS cards. And it's going to make a lot of people open too many packs this first week. So... That's kind of what I wanted to bring up today, especially with some of the new pack code that has been released. There's some pretty crazy packs that have been put out, guys. Packs that we don't have access to right now. Like 87 times 4 is probably one of the best packs that I have in my store at the moment. Packs that have just been added to the code, they could be related to the new season that is coming. They could be related to the new Foot Champs rewards. They could be store packs. I don't think they're store packs. They seem too small. To be in the store but an 87 5 an 88 3 an 88 5 and an 87 times 3 my guess straight off of reading this is probably new season packs they're going to come out with the new season next week that's just my guess notice it also doesn't say anything about them being untradeable which i can imagine if ea is putting a pack in the code like this it could either come out as tradable or untradeable but that's the type of pack that you want to be opening during team of the season so wherever those are I want to be there, whether it's foot champs, whether it's the season rewards, that looks really, really good to me. And the other thing that is interesting from these added packs to the code, we have an 85 times 20 and we have an 81 plus team of the week player pack, which says contains one team of the week player rated 81 or higher from weeks one to 30. Guys, this might be, this one does not say untradeable. I know we have the untradeable team of the week SBC that has been in the game for a long time. Could this be the first ever tradable team of the week pack of FC24? Because they have not dropped any tradable team of the week packs yet this year or SBCs. Could this be it? Because today is Wednesday, right? And last week on Wednesday, we had what EA told us was the final team of the week of the year. Is this the way that EA is going to keep requiring team of the weeks and SBCs, but also keep them supplied on the market so their prices don't go crazy? Is this going to be a pack that gets dropped in an SBC 
I doubt it'll be in the store, but maybe it's an SPC or somewhere else that is tradable. That's a question that I have at this moment. I don't know if it's going to be dropped today. I could see it being dropped today. I could also see it being dropped later on. That's just something I wanted to point out to you guys. And because of this news, Team of the Weeks are dropping. They are now 20 thousand coins per card it's because also there's not a whole lot of demand for them and investors are starting to sell as well as they're still getting supplied because that's the only thing that's in packs right now is team of the week card so that's one thing i wanted to put a kind of just a warning honestly out for you guys i've been lazy selling some of my team of the weeks they're still selling for like twenty five thousand coins which i will take um but i do believe the prices could go lower unless we get something today that requires team of the weeks that's an sbc that people actually want to do last but not least this we 80 plus players pack i don't know what that is we 80 plus it's kind of funny uh we've already had 80 times fives in the game there's literally one through the daily play i think that we get every single day so I don't know what's up with the special name for a pack that we've had for a long time, but that was added to the code yesterday as well. Now, those big packs that we just talked about, let's go back to this for a second, the 87.5, 88.3 and stuff like that. As we always see during team of the season, we see high rated fodder drop because the TOTS cards bring a lot more high rated in and push that market down. The market's already pushed down so far on these cards. Could they go lower though? I really think that they could. I think I'd really be careful with 92s. If I had a 92, like 92s are 62K for the cheapest one. It's Katoto and Lineker. Um, and you have Viali and Kane at 93 and Prinz, which who is great for SBCs at 94 rated. I think I would specifically be careful with some of my 92s and 93s. Um, just because the ones that even you think might be used in game a little bit right now, they're going to end up dropping lower and they're going to be fodder because there's going to be more, a lot more 90, 91, 92 rated team of the season cards. That's going to be like that lower fodder base of the team of the season squads. Those are going to be on the market like crazy. So I'd probably look to sell any of those that you have on the higher rated department. I still don't love high rated fodder at the moment. If you invested in fodder and you're seeing prices go up, not a terrible time to sell ahead of the weekend with live tots just because I can see EA running a lot of lightning rounds, tradable ones. They've been running a lot of lightning rounds in the last couple of promos. I mean, guys, they keep running lightning rounds right now with only team of the week cards in packs. Shameless. They're running uh, promo pack lightning rounds. I mean, they're technically, oh, they still are. No, they're not out right now. This isn't the global limit packs, but they even dropped some of the global limit packs yesterday. Like crazy. I don't know who's opening those, but I guess if they're releasing them, then somebody is. If they keep those lightning rounds up and going for team of the season, that's going to make the high rated fodder and probably a lot of the fodder in general continue to drop. So last chance for fodder to rise up a little bit today before it probably drops tomorrow at Division Rivals Rewards. However, there probably is not going to be that many people opening the rewards tomorrow at Division Rivals because of, of course, team of the season pack save being in full swing. But I just wanted to mention fodder for a second and the situation that is going on there. Now, last thing, let's talk about Wednesday today. What's happening on a Wednesday today on this game? Encore icon pick is refreshing, right? That's a, an SBC that refreshes almost every single Wednesday. The Sunday icon or hero pick refreshes every Wednesday, and this one's going to refresh here today. I'm steering clear, man. I, I got me a ham done yesterday, so I'm just kind of more so putting my higher rated cards into exchanges more than anything else, especially because there's only a couple of days left of these exchanges fingers crossed that they do come back and return and get refreshed i think they will but you know you never know right you never know with ea sports so i'm kind of putting some higher rated into that hitting some more player picks and still making sure i get all of my 83 times 10s done each and every day that i want to get done but if you want to hit an icon pick it is going to refresh today and likewise the daily refresh of all the other SBCs, right make sure you hit your daily gold upgrades make sure you hit your 83 times 10s the 82 times 11 which is a little bit of an iq test but i'm still stacking it because you know why not that's a pack i'll probably open uh during live team of the season just because like the technically you'd have the best chance any of the efix packs guys i think i'm gonna open those during live tots they're untradeable and they're not league specific. They're just top five league specific. And in this promo team, you see there's a lot of the top five league cards. So I feel like the e-fix packs, uh, to kind of go back to our earlier point, might be good to open during live tots. And then any specific packs that we get for like Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, maybe down the line, those would be good to save for the actual team of the season week for the league that gets released that's just kind of a shout for me and something i thought about doing but i'm going to do this again before it expires i got to get that cooked up for that 85 rated squad but that's refreshing once more time 
today. And other than that, guys, I mean, it could be another quiet Wednesday, to be honest. We had a pretty crazy day yesterday. Maybe a player SBC, maybe an upgrade pack. They said we're getting something daily in the upgrade pack department. Really, today is going to be a last day to get your rivals games in, those last rewards before team of the season starts. And uh, technically, the last rewards, I believe, as well, before they refresh them next week with the new season. One thing I will point out it is if you want to try to save XP for the new season when it starts, if you're already level 40, um, do not claim your weekly objectives to XP. It's going to refresh today uh, or tomorrow. Sorry, tomorrow. Um, don't claim it because that's how people can sometimes get a little bit of XP carried forward into the new season. If you do not claim that for like the whole next week, it's a bit annoying, but it can get you some extra XP. And again, no team of the week coming today, guys. Team of the week is going out of packs. Team of the week 30. The best of team of the week will stay in packs. So the Mbappe, the Bonmati, Vinny, Karchawi, right? On this part of the loading screen, they will stay. But team of the week 30 will be going out of packs. Foden, Cold Palmer, right? Out of packs. And that will be the end of team of the weeks in FC 24. So we'll see if EA surprises us with anything today. Watch out for some pre-content leaks, of course. And uh, yeah, market-wise... I'm not buying like pretty much anything at the moment. Some quick flips only, some lazy listing of just some fodder type cards only just because the market right now is pretty cooked. And there are some fluctuations, but I just don't feel like it's worth trading right now. I'm just kind of sitting back, taking a quick break right before we get into the start of team of the season. So let me know down in the comments when you think you're going to be opening your packs, what league of team of the season you're most excited for, maybe influencing when you're going to open your packs and uh, any thoughts you have right now in the waiting times. Till we actually get to team of the season real quick i forgot about a couple things of news sbcs we actually could see soon probably between thursday and friday garasi has won bundesliga player of the month that was leaked foot sheriff said he's going to come as an sbc in the coming days so if you're a bundesliga stuttgart fan there you go and then also the league one player of the month is zagrova so he's going to be getting a player of the month sbc in uh, the next couple of days as well for the League One. So Segrova and Garasi play the months up and coming. That's the info that I have for today, guys. I will see you in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. Catch you guys there. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys there. Peace.